the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, welcome back to the journey on the road to Emmaus. These days we have already seen the initial details about how and who were on the journey to Emmaus and who joined and why they were not able to recognize and the reasons for their non-recognition up to yesterday. My friends, today let us continue with the next verse that is the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 24 verse 17 and he said to them what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the road to Emmaus is a very, very unique and a special journey. When the stranger joins them, the stranger is asking them a question. Today, we shall analyze why the stranger questioned them. What are the reasons for his question and so on. Usually, unlike today, journeys in those days were something different. Suppose you are taking a public transport for your journey, either a bus or a train or a flight. How do you usually travel? I'm not asking about the means of travel, but rather when you travel, what is your behavior or what is your attitude? Of late, the attitude is, I don't care who sits next to me, the other does not exist. I'm seated. If you're going by bus, your whole time with your cell phone, going on uh, viewing or going on spending your time in WhatsApp or Facebook or your social media or on some videos or on the YouTube and so on. If you're going by train, it's a different story altogether. You will sleep for some time and then you will spend some time talking to somebody or you will spend some time watching something on your cell phone. If you're going by flight, I'm sure they will surely tell you to switch off your phone. Therefore, you are disconnected with the social media. If that is the case, then what do you do? If you are uh, flying with a costly airlines, I'm sure definitely they will give you umpteen other arrangements to pass your time Say like you can watch a movie or some magazine and so on. Well, today we do not want to interfere in others world or we don't want them to interfere into us. But those days journeys were not like this. Journeys were something unique. They were something special. Especially when two of them are taking a journey and there's another one who wants to come and join. And it is not that those two who have already begun the journey walk slower, but rather the one who is making this journey and finds two more elves already making a journey, the one who has come late will run and reach them so that he will be able to join them. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus does the same. He walks faster and joins the two who are already making the journey to Emmaus. When they are already making the journey to Emmaus, Jesus joins them and then he cannot just like that walk along. But rather, if they are constantly conversing, then he has to wait for his time, then talk. Since those two are already companions, they will least bother about the new one who has joined them. Therefore, if the new one who has joined must make his place, then he has to converse. The knee has to initiate and thus the stranger initiates with a question. In order to become part of the companionship or in order to become the part of the journey that is being taken on the same route, Jesus talks to them and questions them. The second reason for his questioning was the two disciples were feeling distressed and they were feeling forsaken because of which he asked them so that he can relieve them of their pain. My dear brothers and sisters, most of the times when we question others and they feel relaxed because we have initiated the talk. 
and i'm sure when you find somebody distressed when you find somebody broken when you find somebody crying they do not want to begin their sad story but they would always want to be questioned by you so that they start explaining about their story and thus the question of the stranger was put right in place in order to enter into the companionship of the two in order to enter into the relationship of the two and in order to understand what the two were going through well come back for more god bless you.